Hello everyone, welcome to the 4 Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to add multi-step form in your web form. So here we already created a form, which is event registration form. So in this form, I'm going to add a multi-step form here. So first you have to click on build of your form. Once you click here, you can see uh, three, three buttons. One is element, page and layout. You have to click on page. And for page, you have to give a name. It can be like basic information or personal information or whatever. So I'm just giving the name as one and save it. And then I'm going to add a one more page here, which is page two. Just click page two and then save that also. Once you save, you will be able to see here that two pages are created here, okay? You just need to scroll up. And for the first page, what are the elements you want? You just make them indented. And in the second page, what are the elements you need? You can keep it inside this page. Once you are done, just save the elements. Now you saved it, again, click on view. Here it will be able to see uh, multi-step form is enabled. So I'm going to test tab. Here I'm going to just submit it. So when I click next, it will be able to see uh, the Highlighter is moved to the page two, and then you can submit here. So this is how you have to create a multi-step form. So again, go back to your form. In bottom, you are, you are able to see a button called next right. You can change the label of next or previous button. I'll tell you how to do that. Just go to build again and edit your page where you can add a label for it when you scroll down so you can give previous label or next label since this page one is the first page it will not have a previous button so you just need to add label only for uh, uh, next button click to go next okay save and for Page two, we can give previous and uh, next label board. So back to this is page one. Okay, so this is read the page two and give the label. This is back to page one and or else. So since this is a last form, the next label will not work. At the final, it will be submit button. So this is not required. If you are having a form in between the first and last, you can give previous and next button label. So I'm just saving it here. And then save element. Once it's saved, just go to view. And Paste. So here you can see the label is changed as we configure. When you click on next, at the bottom you can see back to page one or submit. Okay. So this is how you can uh, change the label of your buttons in your multi step form. Okay. And then uh, here you can see the wizard, right? Uh, we are in first page or second page or third page. There we are. So this you can represent this in different ways. So for that you have to go to settings. In settings, go to form. When you scroll down, here you will be able to see there is a section called wizard. So here you can give uh, whether the page 
which page we are in or percentage, how we need to represent the progress, you can enable it. So this will give you the page number and this will give you the percentage. So once you enable those two and scroll down and save it. After that, click on test. And here you can see uh, the number number of page from three pages. We are in first page and we have completed only zero percent. So when you click on to go next, now you can see the page number. We are in second page out of three, and then we have completed fifty percent of uh, data filled. And then you can submit. So this is how you have to create a multi-step form with the help of web form model. And that's it about today's video. If you like the video, please share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.